Hey everyone, thanks for joining today's video. I know I promised an update video for the Crimson Trace CMR301 laser light unit. Um, first off, we're going to be in the first half of the video talking about the original model that I got. It was a black model that I put on my Smith & Wesson MNP1522. I decided to do that because in my original video I discussed about how its zeroing was not proper. If you were to adjust it vertically, it would actually go diagonally. Uh, essentially and then the same thing would happen if you were trying to go horizontally so essentially that cross vertical horizontal cross was rotated on its side and i was adjusting things diagonally which really doesn't work very well um, and i decided to put some epoxy onto the uh, dialing turrets which seems to hold it in place fairly well as of right now so after about 3,000 rounds of 22 long rifle the original model that i got the black model that i got seems to have zero properly retains zero properly and works just fine um <clears throat> laser works fine light works perfectly fine that's not an issue moving on let's talk about the tan model that i got for my mnp 15t 556 ar-15 this model works perfectly fine tan model when i'm adjusting the dialing turrets up and down left and right seems to be working perfectly fine i haven't even had to epoxy it or put some sort of loctite on it to retain zero i've used about i fired about 3,000 rounds of 556 through this rifle with the crimson trace cmr 301 on top of it here's the caveat the mounting system, you could be either M-Lock or Picatinny. The Picatinny version uses a plastic mount that attaches to the top of the, or attaches to any Picatinny rail, essentially. Thing is, though, is once you have it close enough to the gas block, your rail can get really, really hot. And that brings up a concern about the plastic melting and then losing zero. So if you are going to get a CMR301 and put it on a Picatinny rail, make sure you don't put it very close to the gas block or the gas tube because the rail above that section becomes very hot you'll lose integrity of that plastic bit that holds the actual unit onto the rail and you may lose zero which is really unfortunate i wish they did have some sort of more rigid mounting system but if you're just looking for a cheap laser light unit you don't want to have two separate units it actually also comes with a pleasure pressure switch i apologize a pressure switch I do recommend it. It's it's really cheap, really easy to use for a laser light unit. Self-explanatory. It's got those perfect dials on there. Those dials haven't messed up at all over the lifespans that I've been using these uh, laser light units. So I enjoy them. Uh, I'm not going to get any more of them. I'm moving on to bigger and better things, essentially, uh, but I'll keep these.